Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So yesterday, Microsoft announced that the new Outlook for Windows, as I posted earlier today, is becoming more generally available for Windows users with personal accounts. Now, I'll leave that video down in the description as it will give you more info. But um, just a quick recap, the existing mailing calendar apps on Windows 11 and also the um, Outlook desktop app are all now basically going to be replaced by this new Outlook. And what it does, uh, basically, it adds all the existing email features into a single Windows app, like your emails, your calendar, you can have support for uh, third-party uh, accounts and so on. Now, at this stage, the Outlook for Windows, the new Outlook for Windows, does not carry support for an offline mode. You always need to obviously be connected to the internet or be online to use the app. And uh, with this announcement um, on the 21st, um, Microsoft has said now that the new Outlook for Windows will be getting um, basic offline capabilities soon. Now, even above this, they don't give us any more info, but I thought this was interesting, especially if you are uh, using and will be using the new Outlook, because obviously um, services like Gmail have offline capabilities, which I do basically use on a day-to-day -day basis. So if we have a look at these feature updates, it says new Outlook for Windows capability and the status. Here we can see offline support it says support for basic email triage and compose will be available soon. So offline support, although they give us no more information, um, should be on the way to the new Outlook for Windows, which means you'll be able to use a basic functionality of the, the app without being obviously connected to the internet or online. Now just to have a look at some of these other little updates that Microsoft could be working on for the new Outlook for Windows. Uh, Pop support, they say they are investigating. Support for exchange on a prem, investigating. Support for accounts in US government clouds, planned. Outlook data, PST files are planned. Um, if we head down to folder reordering, which I think is a nice one, that's in development. And com add-ins, no support. And SMIME, investigating now what that's all about uh, in case you're unaware is it stands for secure multi-purpose internet mail extensions and um, if you didn't know is a protocol for sending digitally signed and encrypted messages so there's just a quick overview of some of the uh, features that are on the way or could be on the way uh, to the new outlook for windows but as mentioned offline support and um, according to microsoft support for basic email triage and compose will be available soon so just uh, keeping you in the loop um, if you have downloaded or have already been using the uh, new outlook for windows that offline support is soon to be coming to the app so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one